Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're hanging out at the Kibble Farm. Why are we hanging out at the Kibble Farm? Well, because today we're going to be talking about one of the better bits of Kibble. That is until they eventually change it, which I did hear there are plans in the works to actually change the Kibble thing. But for now, this holds true. Plus, also I want to cover bits of the benefits of this certain particular creature. So where people understand that it's not just an annoyance on the beach right when you first spawn and it comes up, stings you once in the face, you knocks you out, and then it slowly devours you. That will happen, still. But <laughs> now you're going to understand um, how these things work, the simple math behind it, and then also, I uh, mean, how decent of a creature these guys are. All right, so now let's. Uh, now that I already gave it away, kinda, and also yeah, I'm sure you guys can actually see the thumbnail. Um, we're talking about Pulmonoscorpiuses. Yeah, I've got them up here inside my uh, kibble farm, just up here perched on this, and then eventually, after you just let them sit up here for a while, this is through constant uh, logging in, logging out. They'll eventually fall through here, and then the uh, eggs will just fall down here on the ground. Makes it really easy for me to pick up their eggs. That way, there I can ma turn their eggs into kibble for taming rexes yes these guys are actually kind of important when it comes around to uh taming up that massive army of uh just perfect rexes that you want for the bosses because pulmonoscorpions are your road to get there yeah and uh in the early levels the they can actually be a quite effective mount all right, so hey, um, when you're going out to tame these guys, if you're going to tame one of these guys, I would recommend you really don't need anything too hard. Uh, you can tame these guys with a simple bow. Um, make sure that you have spoiled meat because that's their preferred uh, um, oh, food. It actually has the same effect as prime meat on these guys. Actually, I think it's a little bit better than prime meat. Um, it's, it's really good. Don't give them raw meat. Don't give them prime meat. Don't give them anything other than spoiled meat. That's really all they need is spoiled meat because... Yeah, it, it's really simple. Now, I could knock it out with a crossbow, I could knock it out with a long neck, but we're not. We're going to knock it out with a bow. Now, this is a Mastercraft bow, but it's still, we're going to knock him out with a bow. Alright, so, um, alright, let's grab, uh, something that flies where we can go out and find one. Make it a little bit easier for us to find one. Because these guys right here, you don't even need a taming pen, you don't need nothing of the sort. All you really need is one. That's it. Yeah, you don't need to put these guys in the taming pen. Don't anything of the sort. I mean, you can put it in a taming pen if you want a little bit easier time of uh, being able to manage things coming and eating its face while it's knocked out because a lot of things will actually aggro on scorpions when they're knocked out. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to defend it, you know, stuff like that. But I'm going to fly over towards the beach and then see if I can find us a scorpion. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, well, we've got one right out here that is apparently knocking out everything around it. But while that's happening, I'm going to clear out uh, all this stuff because, yeah. I mean, so excuse me while I do a basics video where I use a tech saddle to kill everything. Thank you. But yeah, um, what you want to do before you do any tame really is just clear the area around. Suck it, raptor. Oh, you were a good raptor. All right, suck it anyway, raptor. All right, so let's see. Now, where did that scorpion go? You were just... He oh, there you are. Okay, so for this scorpion, really, re we don't really need anything special. Just a bow, some trank arrows, and uh, yeah, that's really it. All right, so let's get down here on the ground with this guy. And then just start kind of laying into him. Okay, while well, it's aggroed on my uh, Tapajara. Okay, so hey, that makes things easier. Are you already running? You, the only thing you want to do is just make sure that it doesn't hit you in the face. Because if it hits you in the face, you're going to get some torpor. And you might get knocked out. But that didn't happen, so hey, give me back those arrows. Thank you. Alright, so now that this guy's not... Oh, he actually looks kind of cool. I like the way some of the colors on these guys actually look. Um, you can get someone, some with really cool claws, everything like that. Nice carapace, everything. Yeah, they, they actually look pretty good. 
You know? All right, so we're just gonna stick that stuff on him. And then I'm just slow, just let him slowly eat. All right, oh, 110. Hey, that's a pretty good scorpion. All right, nice. All right, so hey, I'm gonna uh, tame this guy up and then uh, bring you guys back and I'll see you guys in just a bit. And then we'll discuss uh, how you wanna level these guys up depending on how uh, you're gonna use them. And then, yeah, all right, cool. See you guys in a bit. All right, so taming these guys, it's super straightforward. Yeah, it's, it's really not bad at all. Uh, just throw the uh, spoiled meat on it, let him go down, and then, yeah, it's really not too bad at all. And you're just, the, really, the only thing you have to do is kind of just protect him from this little amazing looking white and black food right here. You look really good, dude. Don't go anywhere, I might come back for you. Just for your colors. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, um, it's just getting up. You know, it's uh, it'll be uh, ready to tame up. I'm not gonna take this one back to base with me because I brought the Tapajara. I wasn't really thinking about it. Don't judge me. I wasn't really thinking about it. Yeah. Alright, and there we go. And then I will eventually come back later for it. But yeah, you'll notice that when these guys finally get up, they're actually, their stats aren't too bad. I mean, this one right here, I mean... Level 110 was, uh, it's wild. It tamed up at 162 at 1480 health. That's pretty good for a um, beginner mount. You can tame these guys at a really low level, and then you can uh, use these guys as just as you're leveling up. Give me, actually, you know what? You can keep the spoiled meat, because I'm going to leave you here on the beach for a little bit. All right, and then uh, their stamina is really good. Uh, their melee damage is really good. All right, now there's also a little uh, trick about their melee damage, because every last little uh, um, bit of the damage that they do is uh also has torpor damage on it yes that's right now it's uh um say if uh they hit for say 20 points of damage all right they're gonna actually do a torpor dot of uh three times that amount directly to the creature but only spread out over 10 seconds now unfortunately like unlike arrows and trank darts and stuff like that it only stacks two times the of uh, the scorpions attack only stacks two times which means that uh they can have 20 seconds worth of dot for twice or three times the amount of damage that they do so if you do something like that you really have to uh make sure that you're paying very close attention but also, against certain creatures like Gallimimus and stuff like that, um, it will actually ensure that they're still gaining Torpor because Gallimimus and uh, Carbo... Um, not ca Carbo and uh, Castoroids will uh, notoriously lower their Torpor really fastly, um, really quickly, even when they're uh, not knocked out. Yeah, while they're still up running around, they'll be... Uh, um, losing torpor but if you give them a sting from a scorpion and then keep pelting them while you're on the back um they'll actually um gain loot um keep their torpor going for a lot longer without having to worry too much about the damage effects yeah because gallimimus is they actually don't have as many hit points now it is really tricky to get to but then again knocking out a gallimimus under any circumstances is tricky all right but anyway um so yeah, just know that even though they're not a really reliable source of knocking things out, you can do it. And especially at lower levels um, against like Iguanodons, uh, um, Parasaurs, Turtles, Trikes, stuff like that. But then again, a Trike's probably going to kick your butt really hard while you're on the back of this thing. Just know that you can still knock it out. Alright, so hey, let's get back up on top of our... Uh, um, Tapajara, and then let's fly back to base, and then we'll discuss some of the little bits. Oh, and also, another thing that you won't need to know about the uh, scorpion, while they can't go directly up and down cliffs, they are one of the best cliff climbers in the game, which means that it saves, like, if you come over to uh, certain uh, hills and stuff like that, they can go right up it. Like, this little section right here, they could probably go right up that. Um, this little bend right here. Yeah, this section right here, this cliff face, they wouldn't be able to go up that. But the bend, they most certainly would. Those guys are actually really, really good. Yeah, oh, hey, there's a gotcha class. Hey, dude. Yeah, all right, so hey, I'm gonna get back to base, and then we're gonna talk about some certain builds on the Scorpion. All right, so the Scorpion Saddle is actually unlocked at kind of a low level. All right, level uh, 22 only takes uh, 12 Angram points. It's really cheap. Like I said, you guys can get these things really, really early. It only costs 95 fiber, 170 um, hide, and 30 wood. Yeah, all right, so now coming over inside of here, let's actually hop on one of these suckers, and then let's talk about a couple builds. Now, if you're actually going to, uh, oh, I went in the wrong door. Wrong door! All right, while I went in uh, the wrong door to get over here, um, these guys, they actually, you can have a couple builds. You can actually get, like, a tanky build. You can get, like, a speedy build. You can get, um, 
Oh, a high melee damage build, say if you want to actually use it just for knocking things out. And like I said, it's not absolutely reliable on getting things knocked out, but you can do it. And uh, at lower levels, you could definitely do it. Um, and, oh, well, let's see. Um, well, this guy right here, he's just been sitting in my kibble farm for a long time. I think I've given him one level up, maybe two level ups his entire life. But, um... Yeah, it's actually, this gives us the perfect example. Say, if I wanted to go with, like, a nice, tanky Pulmonal Scorpius where I could actually take this guy out and, uh, um, oh, actually go level up with him a little bit, I would probably go out of every five levels, at least two in health, all right, two in melee damage, and then one in speed. Because their stamina really doesn't drain that fast, but, um, yeah... It, it, with enough speed, you really don't need a lot of stamina, especially when it comes to these scorpions. These guys can actually get going pretty dang fast. But then again, also, you need to um, pay attention. They do have a low weight stat, which is the most unfortunate part of the scorpion. But as long as you're taking that in consideration, everything should be fine. Right now, and also, if you're going to use these guys as just to knock something out, save like you put something in a taming pen, and then you just hop on the scorpion, then you go, um, then you pull the scorpion inside the taming pen and just start stinging it. Say it's like, uh, you know, like a um, parasaur or something like that. Or if you're out in the wild and you just want to knock out a parasaur, just go straight all melee damage, maybe a little bit of movement speed just to um, catch up. Because like I said, these guys, they do three times their damage in torpor. So say like if it does 30 points of damage, it's going to do 90 points of torpor, but then again, the dot also extends over 10 seconds. Yes, you have to count in this. It's it's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Just like uh, with pelting things with uh, the trank darts and the uh, um oh the trank arrows, you have to count for five seconds on these. But on scorpions, you have to count for 10 seconds. But on these right here, they uh, um, cumulatively uh, stack and then constantly are adding the additional torpor effects. On scorpions, they only stack twice. It kind of sucks. And then they also extend the range of it. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, um, but then, like I said, if you want these guys just for knocking things out, just go with the straight melee damage. Really, that's really it. Maybe a little bit of movement speed. Um, maybe a dash of health just where they can take a hit, just in case if you aggro something. And that's really about it when it comes to scorpions. All right, but now we're going to talk about um, how to make the Rex Kibble because that's one of their most important things. That's usually why everybody um, tames them. And let's get over here. Uh, Pulmonal Scorpius, right here, um, to uh, um, go along with the standard measure berries and uh, fiber that all kibble takes. This one right here just takes uh, scorpion kibble, takes uh, corn, and then it takes uh, prime meat jerky. That's it. It's really easy. Yeah. All right, and then after that, you can get plenty of uh, oh, uh, Rex kibble, and I, I know I've got tons of Rex kibble. You know, I might have actually transferred it over. Oh, let's dip a little. Yeah, right there. No, that's Rex eggs. Yeah, right. Pulmono Scorpius. I always keep tons of that on hand. Plus, I have more ready to go. Yeah, lots more. All right. So, hey, that's pretty much about it for the Scorpion. I mean, I, um, yeah, I know it's not the biggest, the best, the brightest uh, guy in the world, but this guy actually, they can be your buddy. They are quite effective, and they are quite handy. And also, um, one thing that I didn't mention yet, they are really good swimmers. Yeah, so if you get that movement speed going really fast, these guys can be a little, uh, you know, like speedboat out of the water. It's kind of comical, but it's true. All right, so hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.